thank you very much. It is great to be here. It's my second time hosting Saturday Night Live. <laughs> but uh, in a lot of ways, it feels like my first time because the last time was during COVID. And that was just weird, you know? I was wearing a mask the whole week. I don't think Lauren Michaels knew who I was. <laughs> Kept calling me Winona. <laughs> but I do feel lucky to be hosting after the SAG strike ended. Because up until two days ago, and I know this is what we were all thinking about, actors couldn't talk about their movies. <laughs> the only thing I was allowed to talk about was that I have a commercial coming out. <laughs> it's an ad for a Chanel perfume directed by Martin Scorsese. And let me tell you, when you get that call, that Martin Scorsese wants to direct you, the first thing you think is, man, I really hope it's a perfume commercial. <laughs> but now the strike is over, and it's like we're all returning to this magical world <laughs> where actors can once again talk about their projects. <laughs> Come with me. shameless self-promotion <laughs> it's okay I can say that my new film Wonka is out in theaters December 15th Fandango <laughs> keyword Hugh Grant <laughs> Fandango.com keyword damn Hugh Grant got that Oompa Loompa dump truck <laughs> if you want to view a three and a half hour film <laughs> go see Killers of the Flower Moon or just wait for part two of Doom. Just make sure before to use the bathroom. <laughs> you know, after spending 118 days thinking about AI, it is so refreshing to be here amongst real human beings. Oh, <laughs> you smell great. <laughs> you seem like you have secrets. But thanks to the new SAG deal, TV shows can't just use AI to make it look like a crowd is bigger than it actually is. Isn't that right, people in the bleachers? <laughs> look, the really important thing is the return of America's favorite industry, Hollywood. <laughs> it's all done, and we won. No more news. Yeah, 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 Hey, Marcelo, what's up? Yeah, that uh, old-timey stuff is cute and everything, uh, but I was just thinking, and you and I actually have a lot in common. What, do we? Yeah, yeah, you know, you're a big, huge movie star, and I'm on my second season of SNL. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah. But there is something else that we have in common. That's right. Right. We both have a baby face. That's correct. Right. That's Let's correct. talk to him, right? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. This song's dedicated to all the baby face dudes out there. Shout out Justin Bieber. Shout out Bruno Mars, Lil Ass. Hey, check it. Listen, I got a baby face, but my hips don't lie. Say I'm a bad kid, bitch. I'm a bad guy. I got a baby face, but I'm hung like my dad. Trust me, baby, this be the best you ever. I got a face like a youngin, but the body of a dude. So Grandma too, child like demeanor, but I'm full grown. I got trapped in the boobies, call my ass home alone. I got a baby face and a rough IRA. I took her out to Denny's and my ass ate for fray. Yeah, me and your girl have funsy. <laughs> and right after I pay, she wanna see me in a one day. I got a baby face, yeah, I look real shy. Say I'm a bad kid, bitch, I'm a bad guy. I got a baby face and your girl at my crib. Trust me, baby, I eat the booty with a bib. I smoke. I Oh, 
You mean like this? Yo, yo. I packed this face since Keenan and Kale. I aged like a vampire. I aged like for real. All my life, I've been a cutie on TV. They think I'm 19, but I'm really 63. I got a baby face, but I'm hips don't lie. They say I'm a bad kid, bitch. I'm a bad kid.